Today we're going to discuss recharging your batteries in your RV. So let's say you get a cloudy day or two and you need to get that power back in the RV. Or you just don't have enough solar on the roof to charge those batteries up. Or maybe you don't have solar at all and you need to you know, have a way to charge batteries. So this is for you. So what I use is kind of a combination of a power source and um, this is a Victron IP22 charger. And the reason why I love this is there's two reasons. One, they put a huge warranty on it, which means to me they really believe in their product. And I get it. It's a really tough product. It's made for boats. So this is made to be on ocean water, you know, so you got salt in the air. This takes a beating, and that's why they put such a good warranty behind it. Now, what I need for a power source you know, you can either plug this directly up to your house using an extension cord. And I'll show you it real quick. Like I said, you can plug it straight up to your house uh, using an extension cord. Or you can plug it into a generator. These ports right here are where you uh, plug in the power to your battery. And that's it. I mean, it's just a battery charger is what it is, but it's a reliable one. It works for LiPo 4 batteries, and it does a great job of doing the, the cycling of bulk and um, uh, storage and float cycles. So it has all the pieces you need for it. It's a Bluetooth device, so you can see it on your phone what it's doing. And like I said, 30 amps of power, which means you can recharge your battery 30 amp hours of battery back in your power uh, battery bank every hour now what I like about this is this is a 1000 watt inverter generator that means inverter generators mean it, it's quiet so when it doesn't need to use you know a thousand watts of power output then it ramps the rpms down low and you can save on gas it's super quiet and even when it's up high, say you're using a thousand watts of power on this thing, um, it's small, so it's not going to be a noisy giant generator sitting out there. Uh, it's cheap. Um, I really don't know why people don't, you know, get, you know, more people don't get this. The only thing I can think of is because, you know, it's a thousand watt, you know, with 1500 watt peak and your RV air conditioners can't run off this. Now, in my situation, I'm using this to recharge my batteries, and I can still run my little inverter window air conditioner off of it. So, in my situation, it's fine for air conditioning. Um, if you're just using a generator to recharge your batteries, and then running your AC and everything off that, then this is fine too. So, the change I did this year, and I'm going to show you what is cool about this, is I went from a 280 amp hour battery to two parallel batteries, and now I have 560 amp hours of power available. It's still running 12 volt system, and it's running parallel. The reason why I went with parallel instead of series, to, you know, series you can bump up 24 volts, but there's a lot of factors with series that can really mess with you. So if you can set your system for, uh, 12 volt parallel batteries, then just stay with that because you can open up a whole can of worms changing it to a series system. So let me talk about this. What this does that's really cool, and again, this is why parallel is cool also, is I can run two of these. So I can run two of these. I can plug it into a little pack I have, and then I can run one cord to this, or I can run two cords, but I'll show you how I'm going to install it later. But like I said, I can run two of these simultaneously together and they will uh, read how much, you know, bulk charge or what it needs. And they will automatically change and balance themselves to what it needs to, to charge the batteries. Once the batteries start getting at the peak, uh, one of them might, you know, shut down to, uh, you know, the, the storage mode or the float mode. And the other one might still be, kicking a little more power. So it's just nice that they balance themselves out, you know, on what they're kind of reading. You get two of these 
and you can charge, you know, a, a big power bank up, you know, 60 amp hours of power per hour in your battery uh, bank. That means my 560 amp hour uh, batteries, I can charge up probably, you know, eight, nine hours completely dead, all the way up to fully charged. And that's off of a little tiny generator. And it's just, you know, it's a great, great design. And that's about it, you know. I don't want to, you know, keep this video running on and on about, you know, chargers and, you know, costs. I just wanted to show you a, a cheaper, uh, but, you know, very high quality. Because, you know, if you looked on the web and anywhere on YouTube, you know that Victron is probably the best uh, quality devices out there. And this is like a little gem that they have that it's a, you know, reasonably priced item for what it does. Now, there's there are a couple other companies out there making you know little tiny cheap chargers out there but this one isn't a tiny cheap you know as in junk charger this is a uh cheap in price you know a little bit higher than on the cheap side but uh quality very high quality so uh that's it and you like what we're doing please subscribe because you all make it happen